So now that we have our functions for making a map and for building that table, what we want to do is package those in a little web application using Flask. So this video I'm just going to go over a high level review of some of the basics of Flask and then the next time we'll populate it with this application using those functions that we developed in the Jupyter Notebook. So I'm using VS Code. I've created a blank file called app.py and I'm also going to open a terminal in VS Code so that I can run my application um, once I get it together. First things first is to import Flask. So from lowercase Flask, import the uppercase Flask class. We'll create our app using that class and we'll pass it the under under name under under magic function. To create our first page, we use a decorator at app.root, give a string for the URL, and then define what happens when we meet that URL. So we'll define this as the home page, and we'll just return the string hi. Last piece is to make sure that when we run this file, it actually executes this application. So if under under name equals equals under under main, we'll ask the app to run and we'll also set the debug to true. Once we have our basic app, we can go to our terminal and run this file, execute this file, app.py. So we'll say python app.py and we should see a URL that we can click and go to and we will get a page back that just says hi in the top corner here. Now to make things a little bit more interesting, we instead of just passing strings, what we want to do is use HTML and put that together with some Python. So instead of just passing a string here, what we'll do is create a folder called templates. And I will create a file inside of that templates folder called home.html. Inside of this, I'll write a little bit of basic HTML, an h1 tag, and say hello. And make a little paragraph and write some smaller text in there. Make sure to save that file and come back to my application. And I need to import one more function from Flask called render template. And then instead of this string, what I'm going to do is I'm going to render that, it pass that HTML file um, to the render template argument so that when we go to this URL, what happens is this triggers displaying the contents of this HTML file. A couple of common errors is that this is called templates with an S it expects a folder called templates to render a template from. So you need to be consistent with this naming convention. And so we want this to be home.html. Save this. And now if we revisit the same web page, we see the contents of that HTML file rendered. And that's the big idea with, um, with Flask and with templates. So the next step is to actually incorporate those functions and populate this template with, some, um, with both a table and with a map.